Welcome back to my channel. I have another fun recipe to try out today. I'm still working in the Eat Like a Gilmore cookbook. I'm still trying to review it. I am not a professional cook, not a chef, anything like that. I'm just a person who likes food, who likes to try recipes, and I am trying this book out. And sometimes things go a little bit crazy. So today, we're gonna do the Founders Day Punch which is apparently the punch that Miss Patty makes for the entire town on Founders Day in Stars Hollow. And a few seasons later during the live diorama, Miss Patty makes it again for the town. Now, <laughs> let me tell you how I feel about this recipe. Even though it says it's delectably sweet and it's, it says it's deceptively delicious, which I think it means you don't really taste the alcohol too much, it really just tastes like drinking punch, which is why Rory and Paris got pretty drunk on it when they were doing it. But the thing that gets to me, I, <laughs> it calls for three cups of passion fruit juice. And I looked all over my town in several grocery stores for passion fruit juice. I even looked in the Spanish store and I could not find passion fruit juice. I ended up going on Amazon, finding this bottle of passion fruit juice concentrate, which I'm gonna have to mix up for this. And it was seven dollars, but it actually it's one part of passion fruit concentrate to eight parts of water. So I think a little bit's gonna go a long way with this bottle. So I have a lot left over after this, though. But it, maybe in your town it might be a little bit easier to find passion fruit juice, depending on where you are in the world. In my area, it was not easy to find. That's for sure. I'm using the same vodka that I used in the birthday girl recipe and I did buy like just a cheap pint of brandy for this recipe so it might taste stronger than it's supposed to um, other like if you have a more of a top shelf liquor it probably would taste a lot smoother even more so but if this is good it's good and I'm excited to try it I got a brand new glass pitcher that I'm going to use to make it and I am going to make it right now Let's go try it out. Okay, we're gonna start with the three cups of passion fruit juice. I had already mixed up the concentrate in that pitcher. I made one quart of passion fruit juice for this recipe. Next, you need one and a half cups of cranberry juice. Now one cup of pineapple juice. Now you need one cup of vodka.
And then you add a half a cup of brandy. And last but not least, you need one cup of sparkling apple cider. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. Now stir it all up. Do you like my picture? I got it off Amazon. I will link it below so you can get one for yourself. Now put some ice in your glass and pour it right over. And there it is. I can't wait to try it. Let's go try it out. Okay, we're gonna try it now. It smells really good. Again, it's like a really amazing punch. Oh yeah. It's definitely deceptively sweet. I could drink this whole thing and it, I, would, I would not like any alcohol. I mean a little bit, but that passion fruit really like cuts it and it's just, it's just punch. So be careful when you're drinking this one because it is strong. And by the way, for Miss Patty to serve this drink to the entire town, she's a very generous person because that little thing of brandy was like, it was cheap brandy, but it was like seven bucks. And the passion fruit juice thing was also seven dollars. I have a lot left over, but I can't imagine making this for the entire town of Stars Hollow. I know it's a small town, but still, that's a lot of people to make this punch for. But it's good, and I can't wait to finish it. I mean, not the whole pitcher, but this glass. And I think I will probably go into bed after this because this is good. this is this is definitely dangerous. <laughs> I hope y'all have a good night. Bye.